YouTube, what it do, man? I'm coming at you with another one today, and we got our first ever whole album review. That's right, I said it. I'm going to do a whole album review, but don't worry. I'm going to condense the video so it's not too long. But listen, man, I believe yesterday or today, I don't know, Kanye dropped his album, Vultures 1. He finally dropped the album. I really expect him to drop it because you know how Kanye says he's going to drop something, and we never get it. Um, I've never heard Donda 2. I know he had to buy that little Kanye media player to listen to that, but even if it that album is out somewhere other than there, I ain't never heard of it. Like If it's not on Apple Music or Spotify, I'm probably not going to hear it. But anyway, man, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Let's go. Let's go. It's Kanye. Yeezy. Jesus. Gemini. I'm a Gemini too. So that's my brother. That's my fucking brother. Already know what I'm on. Tell them no way to fund me. Pulling up drop top Porsche. Just that glory. I'ma come through and just black out. Just black out. Keep a few trees on the stage. Man, I'm so glad we got this album because Kanye is so good at production. You just know you're just gonna be in a ride, man. It's always some type of cinematic orchestra when we're listening to his music. So I'm just gonna sit back, just close my eyes and just enjoy this, man. So let's get into it. Damn now, I cash out. We finna go where the stars at. And beyond that, just that rip up the contract. But go that. Man, this chorus, I I don't understand what they're saying exactly. It's, but it's kind of just like, you remember that episode of SpongeBob where he did that basically football halftime show, which they're actually going to implement into the actual halftime show for the Super Bowl. But it kind of just feels like, it gives me that feeling of I'm in the middle of the football arena at the logo, got the spotlight on me. It's dark, and then you got everybody in the crowd just harmonizing the same vocals, and that's just kind of like the chorus that is is um like vocalizing at you in this track right now, and it's coming from all directions, a full 360 of just vocals, and you're just in the middle of the field, and you're just getting everything. It's 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 nice right now. <laughs> So that's uh, track number one called Stars. Um, this is a collab album with Ty Dolla Sign. And yeah, we're starting off good so far. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn my mic off so there's no external noise coming in on these tracks. So if you did hear some background noise on that first song, um, I apologize for that. So yeah, track number two is titled Keys to My Life. <laughs> Oh, that's 
slow down you on your way to an overdose plus these texts getting way too emotional way too much time alone told the guys that you know i'm headed home i got a trauma bond look at what i stumbled on another nigga chilling on your couch with pajamas on thought i was the only one how dare you have a nigga in your house eating papa john's where you get that money from how dare you have a nigga in your house eating papa john's why would you do that right now the tone off rip is kind of like a a sad i'm about to talk my like it like you made me sad and now i'm about to talk my shit um the first couple lines it felt like he was driving home but he what he was in like the passenger so maybe he was chauffeuring home it's raining and he's he's just kind of staring at the window just thinking about you know what happened to get him in this sad place or what event caused him to be this sad so i feel like this is sad in the rain on the way home type rap right now looking at how far we come i bought your first foster run guess we had an awesome run ever since i lost my mom you was like my foster mom homie like your only son homie like the homies in the shy when they hold their guns homie like a trophy in the sky when they know they won wasn't it always this way? Wasn't it always this way? Putting it all on display. Using up all your sick days. Put up with up. I like this, man. I like Ty Dolla Sign coming in. And because really, I didn't expect Ty Dolla Sign and Kanye to collab. Um, I didn't know what I was expecting on Ty Dolla Sign's end, but from listening to. The Vultures track that he dropped the other day, um, music video wise, and seeing how he ascended that track so well, and hearing him on Keys to My Life, it, it's just, he just, you know how Jim and I have two sides? I feel like Ty Dolla Sign is Kanye's other side, and he's bringing that other side into the track, and like I said, it's ascending but it's just it's like a yin and yang type of type effect right now so i'm all here for it all my mistakes listen to all my mixtapes supposed to be always this way supposed to be always this way couldn't it all be so simple i could have used that oh no he didn't bro so bro he did not add the wu-tang sample up here this shit is fire bro last part for the intro how it sound when you got yeezy over tempo from uptown but now she rocking yeezys over tempos like you don't see me beating on your window like chief chief in the kitchen with the beaties and the endo but that was me Ooh. when i was burning cds from my friends though now i can't just take it on the chin like jay leno now everybody want the info. These bitches want the pink. Now it's a little bit of Drake vibes going into it, man. The fucking beat switches, the changes. This this track is elevating right now, bro. It's definitely a whole roller coaster ride. This shit is fire. Cold, these niggas where we can folk. And a busy with a jinsy getting gentle. If I gotta pay for it, I'ma drive it like a rental. You already know my MO. Is you ready for the Venmo? You already know my demo. You already know I'm in Sif, and another baby is my end goal. You already know I'm impulsive, and a baby is my end goal. I wonder if he's talking about his wife right now. Maybe he's hinting more children on the way. You never know, you never know. But keys to my life, that shit was heat, bro. That was a very well tracked, very well put together the production, man, I said, I told you, it's Kanye. The, the, con the production will never fail. It will never flop. I don't care what you say about Kanye, his beliefs, his goals, whatever. The man is a musical genius.
life to my life. Yeah. All right, that was track number two, Keys to My Life. Um, yeah, that track had a little bit left in it, so I apologize for that. But yeah, man, the pattern so far between these first two tracks, um, the production, but what I'm noticing is he's bringing these external sources. Um, and when I say that, I mean, there's other people who aren't listed on the track. Um, I mean, everybody on here who is listed on the album is just Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign. You know how they are these days with the features on the actual track list. Um, but it's probably not a single person. Like I said, the pattern is is you get this outside chorus from whoever. So that's what makes it a whole like musical, theatrical production. Um, it's not just Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign on the track itself. They're meshing pieces from other external sources which just adds an extra layer of environmental sound as a whole which is 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 doing good so far so let's see how they carry it throughout the rest of the album track number three titled paid let's go Playboy Cardi rap. Okay, now we see why Playboy Cardi was hanging out with Kanye. This is exactly why. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Like flew past too fast. Old stomach is the new ass. He can't afford you. That's too bad. Don't know what you're going to do with a do rag. Man, I wish I could be in the studio and I record songs like this, man. Because just imagine Kanye in the studio, you on the other side of the glass, and you know he's in there just looking like... So I want to know the reaction to everybody else who's not in the booth with him. Like, are they just back there just like... What the fuck is he saying? Or are they just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Do you right? I'm just here to get paid. I'm just here to get paid. I fuck with this song. You could definitely play this. Um, you could probably play this at the club. It's it's not gonna be too long of a song, but just like a little turn up introductory song. Like, you know, who's not gonna turn up to something that's just repeatedly saying, "I'm just here to get paid." I'm just here because we all want to get paid. So, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Ladies and ladies go and choose your man There's no need 
could be afraid. Friday night, let's all get paid. 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 I wonder who this is right here. The voice sounds very familiar. I just can't put my finger quite on who it is. Quite on who it is. If you guys know who this is, let me know in the comments. Who could this be? It kind of sounds like a um. This is this is not who it is. I know it, but it sounds like Don Tolliver with without the auto tune. Huh. That's gonna bother me. Friday night, let's all get paid. Friday night, let's all get paid. Friday, Friday let 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 get paid. Is he saying Roxy or is it oh shit? That was track number three, Paid. That was a that was a good club banger, man. I can I can hear that one playing at the Caribbean in the clubs at the Caribbean. Um, yeah, I feel like that one's going to be, that one might be on TikTok. I can see people using that on TikTok or YouTube shorts or whatever, but that was a bop. That was a bop. Can't lie. Pretty straightforward track. So moving on. Track number four entitled Talking. Wait, is this the track with his daughter? I'm about to turn up to this. Is that like, I know typical artist children, they tend to make trash. And I'm not going to say that about um his daughter. What's her name? North. Um, Not just because she's a child. I mean, I haven't heard the track yet, so I might call the shit trash. But Kanye on the production is going to make her sound good. So let's let's hear it. I know I had the mic off while I was singing. I didn't want to interrupt the song, but yeah, I heard this shit before on TikTok. So yeah, bestie, don't try to test me. It's Miss Westie. This shit's fire for for a kid. This shit's fire. Bless me. How much to stop the clock from speeding? They make time to slow down. How much to stop my daughter from going? I just can't take it now. Cause she just doing all the shit I did when I was her age. I don't know how I'm gonna tell her, but her dad's just afraid. Of her choices, know that I've been through it. I just hope I haven't been the wrong influence. Put her own game before the world put her through it. Ooh, ooh, uh, 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 uh. I just felt like I had to hit that. I, I felt like I had to. I felt like I really just had to hit that. Okay, I tell you what. Um, 
but yeah, I know the track's coming to an end. Um, I think, I hope. I just want to let you guys know if the screen is going black um, for a second, it's because I'm checking um, Google. I'm streaming it off Google using Apple Music. So I actually can't see when the track is about to end. So if I pause it, if I randomly pause it while the song's going, it's because it's kind of hard to tell when the track ends because there's a lot of um, beat switch ups. So I'm trying to pause it just to see if the song ends that way we can move into the next song sometimes i pause it and the song's still going so just letting you guys know that's why i gotta break the curses that was sent for me this is hard work working this ain't destiny my motivation is just looking at my family tree i'm trying to make sure i can chew you for the legacy once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. Once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. Once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. Once again, the clouds are gathering to release what they held in. All right, I'm trying to break that down. So since he repeated it so many times, my mind was just kind of latched onto it and was like, okay, what is he saying? Once again, they all gathered in. The clouds all gathered in to release what they held in. And he started to track off with his daughter. And Ty Dolla Sign came in and followed up with kind of a, sound like an uplifting preach. Um, he started talking about his kin. So it kind of sounds like, they're referring to, um, you know, the children that I was about to say the children that they produce, which sounds funny. Um, but they're they're kin, they're next of kin, and their their success. Um, how how can I put this? They want their children to do good. It like it sounds like I'm at church right now, and I'm praising on the fact that my daughters and sons, I don't have a son, but my daughter is gonna be okay. Um, so once again, the clouds gathered in to release what they held in, which is rain, of course. Um, so maybe he's just talking about releasing the potential of his children coming up in the world. <laughs> I should have just said that earlier. That was so much simpler. <laughs> My bad. I fell in love with you. Oh, okay, it was over. Um, so I believe this is track number five. Yeah, track number five, Back to Me. Um, Trey, this is your son. This is your track. This is Trey's track. We fell in love with you. Guys, I guess just don't fall the fucking sky, you know? girl some more ass and that's crazy you can only buy but so much ass <laughs> you can only buy but so much ass i put nerds on the map that is circle in your bitch i put nerds on the map he's talking about he's not talking about nerds geek dork he's talking about n e r d i know he is i know he is did i do that Bro, run, 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 run. I know y'all know where that's from. 
That's dope. I like I like the fact that he's adding stuff like that. But it's not clear as day. Like I mean, it is clear as day, but the average person wouldn't catch it. The average person wouldn't catch it. Beautiful naked big titty women just don't follow the sky, you know. Beautiful naked big titty women just don't follow the sky, you know. Beautiful big titty but naked bitches don't follow the sky, you know. <laughs> that shit is funny, man. Tell me how you know. I've been searching high and low. And I can tell you one thing. Beautiful big titty but naked women just don't fall up the sky, you know. Uh, easy, how you doing, huh? Easy, how you doing, huh? Easy, how you doing, huh? Beautiful big titty but naked women just don't fall up the sky. Uh, uh, just don't fall up the sky, you know. Just don't fall out the sky, you know. And beautiful big titty but naked women just don't fall up the sky, you know. Tell me how you know. I've been such high and low, and I can tell you- Yeah, this shit is it. This shit is lit. <laughs> this shit is lit, bro. He, he, like, he just comes on the track so aggressive with this shit, bro. It's kind of just like, I think of it as he's on an elevator, right? And he's going to the ground floor, and it's like 10 people waiting to get in the elevator on that ground floor. And the door opens. The only one in the elevator is Kanye. And then he he takes the first step out the elevator. Everybody looks up and stare at him. And he's just like, you know, and just walks off and goes about the day. It's just so abrupt. That's, it's crazy. Don't fall out the sky, you know. Sky, you know. Just don't fall out the sky, you know. They so valuable. I've been searching high and low. And I can tell you one thing. Beautiful big titty butt naked women just don't fall out the sky, you know. Run, run. Run, run. Wait, it's my brother Freddie Gibbs, bro. Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo Rabbit, Space Rabbit, put Space Coop straight out of Monaco. Sky, you know. 
Oh man, I don't care if there's still something left on this song, but this song is fire, bro. This shit is a slapper. Five stars all across the board. Track number five, five stars. Back to me featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Freddie Gibbs, bro. Let me tell you, Kanye came and brought the heat. He brought the sauce. He brought the energy. And then Ty Dolla Sign, he didn't he didn't take away from the track. He kind of just added his little singing R and B element to it, which slowed down the tempo a little bit. But then. We had Freddie on the track. I did not know Freddie was going to be on the track. And he this beat was perfect. This beat was made for him because he ate. He spit. He fucking, oh, my God. It just added so much to this track, bro. It was fire. But he added Freddie, and this nigga was just, just like, bro, like, the fuck? He was so locked in. He was, so, like, he couldn't veer off from the track, bro. Like, a fuck, oh, my God. That track was fire. Tell him it was fire. Say it was fire. Say it on the mic. Say it on the mic. Say it on the mic. Say it, say it was fire. It's fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, Jesus, that was that was so good. Uh, I I don't even know what to say. That was great. But track number six, Hood Rat. Come on, uh, say something else. Do something else. Change it up. I'm tired of hearing this shit. I'm vibing to it, but I'm tired of hearing this hood ratchet. You look like a piece of hallelujah. You look like a piece of hallelujah? That's either good or bad. Because you like you a blessing, you a beauty, or you just covering up hallelujah for a cuss word. As in, you look like a piece of shit. But I'm going to say, you look like a piece of hallelujah, because I'm a Christian man, a fellow Christ goer, Lord, Jesus following, Savior. I'm tired of this nigga saying hood rat right um uh yeah to be honest I'm skipping this track. Um I wanna skip the shit. But I'ma follow through. And if the shit if this shit doesn't get any better, I'ma either cut to the end or just cut straight to the next track when I'm editing this video. When you toast try to touch the sin and have it say Yeah, I'm skimming to the next track because I'm noticing now and I, I tried to follow through with finishing this, but it's actually at the point where the hood rat is drowning Kanye's vocals. And when it gets to that in a song, you really just draw the attention away from the actual song itself to this annoying, repetitive hood rat, hood rat. And I, I get how they were trying to use it in the track. The utilization of it just probably it just doesn't come out quite as efficient as it should. So, yeah, man, track number uh, six, Hood Rat, uh, gets a big, big fat L. Um, we're going to just move into track number seven, titled Do It. Do it it's got a star next to it. It's got a star next to it, so it might be a good track. Why did that sound like uh? 
What did that sound like? Uh, what did that sound like? Nipsey Hustle. Why did that sound like Nipsey Hustle? Was that Nipsey Hustle? Did they manage to get some vocals from Nipsey Hustle before he passed? That would be dope. Or am I tripping? Is this someone else? I don't know. Because they don't put the goddamn features in the fucking tracks. Like they should. Nah, I don't like that. Because they, they don't put the features in the track. Because Freddie Gibbs ate on that track. And niggas need to know who that was. Niggas need to know who that was. Throw it up, watch how I do it. Make a drop to a toast. Bend it up, pick it up real so I do it, baby, do it. Off that work, I stack a jacuzzi in my back. Call me 06 coach. What's sad? Trying to make a movie. Just touch down, feeling like Lodge. Fucking on t shirt, fucking on Susie. Don't discriminate with this Uzi. She just want to drink, do a little toosie. Beat it all day, beat it all night. I be on Gorilla going Kimbo Slice. I be with the killers, need to pay your fines. Try me once, you gon' pay with your life. All these guns on me. Wish your set bitch, throw it up. Heard you got a man, but he ain't like us. Your bitty bands ain't doing enough. No, it's all on me. This might make you fall in love. Telling your friends you found the one. And I'm like, who? And I'm like, what? All this money on the floor. Ten racks, throw it up. I like this song. It's a little vibe. Um, it sounds like I've heard it before, though. It sounds like I've heard it before. It sounds like I've heard it before. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot on some Dr. Umar type. Um, yeah, let's keep it going. Watch how I do it. Make a drop to a toast. Bend it up, pick it up real so I do it, baby, do it. Off that work, I stuck a jacuzzi in my back. Call me 06 coach. What's happening? Trying to make a movie. You don't like it, that's your loss. Your opinion don't change the show costs. Let me know what these hoes cost. I ain't finna pay the whole cost. Going so much money, you gon' need an audit. God in me, so anything you want, I got it. Southside, do or die, shot town, top five, four, three, two, one. Who am I? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Takes a whole 100K, Apple Pay Day. If I show her what she work, I think she just might quit. I just bought my bitch a bitch. Uh, spending all the. I just bought my bitch a bitch. <laughs> Apple Pay, that's Apple Pay Day. That was cool. Cool little bar, cool little track. He's talking to shit. He's really sassy right now. You know, he's being real sassy. Sassy rap, sassy lyrics. Um, I just bought my bitch a bitch. You lying. You ain't do that shit, though. Hard bar. You lying, though. You cap. All this money like it's free to me. That shit fall off trees to me. We ain't even stressed. We the new kings and sheets. We done made a mess. They gon' have to clean for weeks. All this money on the floor. Yeah. Ten racks, throw it up. Watch how I do it. Make a drop to a toast. Bend it up, pick it up real so I Do it, baby, do it. Off that work, I stuck a jacuzzi in my back. Call me 06 coach. What's sad? Tryna make a movie. Do it. Do it. She got the low fashion from the loser. Fuck from the back going stove. Hey, hey, hey. The brain was a mess. Yeah. Fuck the one that I'm confused. She don't want to go home. She refuses. Hit it up the tray by that pussy boy. Hey. Top boy, I ain't the little one. Thugged out bitch, nigga better get a gun. Is it ASAP? I'm going to be on the biggest one. It's all up in the party. I'm finna kill the fun. Yeah. What's that? Oh, 400. Ah, fuck. Damn. YG, YG, YG. Hey. Um, train of thought, train of thought. So, I don't really remember what I was saying. I had to go help Arya. She went to the potty. But, yeah, what was that? Track number seven, I think, called Do It. Um, I, okay, what I was saying was, 
so far the songs are either hit or miss in terms of hypeness that's what i'll give it uh that's how i'll scale it from uh low medium to high so it's either we're building up we're building up building up and then boom the song just takes a, a change for the better in a term of the the tempo or the beat switch and if the beat switch or the tempo switches it's usually faster and more exciting and more it brings a level of turn up to see turn up to see turn up to see uh i don't know velocity i guess i'll just use the word velocity um yeah man the song just <laughs> how can i say this the songs are all very well put together um but it's either it starts off slow and ends up high or it kind of just runs a course of mid action like not mid action but the level of activity is kind of at a very sane constant level or the track is really just slow and controlled um so yeah without further ado um i believe we are on track number eight which is titled paperwork we're halfway there we're halfway there halfway there all right then come out let's play tonight let me get my paper right then come out let's play tonight back on that for the paper benjamin frank that's my neighbor deep in the night let's get dangerous we not the type to point fingers she took the pipe now she famous it's plenty paper in rotation let's pick a private location it's a no relation vacation went crazy now let's go amazing you can pick out your favorite purse this is like a feels like an 808 the heartbreak type beat they down to the room fuck with it fuck with it i don't know what uh what to call these type of instrumentals uh but i feel like the the sounds that they're using or a type of like 8-bit like if you could 8-bit <laughs> like a you know what 8-bit is right like if you could think of an instrument but 8-bit ties it a bit of ties it i don't know but if you know what 8-bit 80s, like 90s, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega type beats. Not really, but whatever. Bitch, better get your paperwork. Back on that for the paper. 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 This, this feels like, is, what is this, Quavo? It feels like Quavo has back on that but a like robot uh robocop type shit like quavo just woke up as a robot like quavo just woke up as cyrax quavo just woke up as a beep boop 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 bop beep boop beep yeah i like it and add the guitar it just i'm telling you it just brings this element of dude you know how Rey mysterio comes on the stage he just booyaka it feels like quavo in robocop form just appeared on the stage like Rey mysterio Booyaka just popped up all nice and slow though like he was rebooting and now he says he has arisen yeah, the shit. <laughs> okay they switched it up they switched it up like i said it feels like i'm, I'm fucking low crawling through the jungle right now in vietnam and my whole tribe is with me they all behind me and we about to attack a village that's what this feels like we about to we about to attack we on the prowl right now baby chill don't worry about that you don't need a real job forget about all the problems you can go call your mama tell her you married to the mob this one is a real vibe lay back enjoy the ride 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 Lay back, enjoy the ride. Paying you, I'm late for work. Work. My excuse, I 
I pay for twerk. twerk. She prefer we play in Turks. It's a pay-per-view, don't play with her. No, drunk off X, it was supposed to be perks. Let me get my paper right. Say she the voice who she supposed to be, Dirk. Then come out, let's play tonight. How about I ask you this question first? Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do for this baby bird? Okay. Yeah. She said it's giving, she's supposed to serve. Okay. Yeah. I said, what would you do if the roles reverse? Yo, I'm really liking this. I don't think anybody has ever used Quavo um, like they're using him right now. It's, this is a different side of Quavo because usually you kind of just get the, you know, the Migos Quavo. And, of course, he's using ad-libs, but it's kind of he's going in and out of the track. But then at the same time, Kanye is filling in his position, you know, spitting like a maybe just like a one or two worder. And it's nothing crazy, but it's kind of like he's picking up as Quavo's ad-libs, even though Quavo is ad-libbing, you know, I was going to say he's ad-libbing the ad-libs, but this is, this is nice. This is nice. Let's keep it going. She said you'll make mommy life work. 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 Make that was track number eight paperwork um that's that might be my number two track of the album behind back to me ah they just because i was just talking about how they were using quavo so well and kanye was coming in to follow up but on the 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 parallel side of that the beat was doing the same thing the guitar kept coming in and then the the big 808 drop would just knock in in replacement and they would and then you just had the do 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 it was so many pieces of the puzzle to that track as far as the instrumental goes and that's just another part of production that i'm always talking about when it comes to kanye um that was a really really very well put together track man i love that one i love that one paperwork track number eight um so here we go without further ado this is track number nine titled burn burn baby burn this album's good so far, man. So far, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know your comments. If you stuck um, this far, I don't know how long how long we are in, but we're a little bit more than halfway done. So, yeah, man, your thoughts, drop them in the comment because this is my first album review, and I want to know what you guys think, man. Don't leave me dead in the water. Don't leave me dead in the water. I did like the wild, wild west. Catch a check off my name. When my campaign turned to campaign, I burn eight billion to take off my chains. Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts. I guess. I mm, let's, uh, let me let me go back real quick. He said something there. He said something there. Um, yeah, this is Apple Music, so I can't just like hit the arrow and go back like you can on YouTube. Take off my chains. Burn my name, when my can't detain by my pain. Who ain't cash a check off my name? When my campaign turn to campaign, I burn eight billion to take off my chain. Yeah, he's talking about Adidas right there. He's talking about Adidas right there. Burn eight million just to take off my chains. He ain't a slave no more. He ain't a slave no more. Hey, Kanye is a genius, man. I mean, I wish I I I knew him behind the scenes. Because, you know, he does all that crazy shit. And no one ever actually knows what the hell is going on. Or what. You know, y'all know how it is, man. Whatever. Back to the song. Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts. I guess I never learn. So who would make a son the CEO of the firm? It's not some whisper to churn with big worm. Man, a couple wrong turns could fry you forever. It's a permanent perm. You charge it for cookie that's bang for your buck. If you're kissing on the mouth, you ain't charging enough. You heard I was flying them out. They was trying for clout. I was dying of gout. Man, the world gone mad. Her R. Kelly in the next Balenciaga ad. Like 
Yeah, he talking a lot of shit. He talking a lot of shit, man. like to say that i really like ty dolla sign on this album man i never would have thought they would have made a collaboration album but the fact that i'm hearing a little bit of the old kanye on this i feel like ty dolla sign plays a, a big part in that because he's not just dropping music straight from you know whatever the hell he be thinking about it's not just all kanye's crazy mind because you know that's what we got from shit like Jesus, I'm not gonna say shit like Donda, but Jesus was crazy, and I don't even know what type of comparison that was. But basically, it feels like Ty Dolla Sign is not letting Kanye stray off into that old bullshit <laughs> that we're used to. Granted, a lot of the old stuff was actually fire, but we're actually getting like classic Kanye right now, and I'm all here for it. It's, this shit is nice. Yeah, I say that a lot. This shit is nice. This shit is uh, very swell, splendid, splendid music. This is track number 10 titled Fuck Some. Ooh, this did not come in. The beat did not come in how I expected. Ah, damn, there's like no way to say that. The drop didn't, yeah, the beat did not come in how I expected it, man. That shit hit. That, wow. Wow. Let's go. Hey, I, I gotta say this definitely fits Playboy Cardi's current agenda or persona. Um, you kind of got this 80s punk rock bass line coming in. Um, and it's, it's just it just feels very like... Like, it's time. Like, it's time to rumble. Like, fucking Royal Rumble type shit. Um, and then he's really not using his baby voice anymore. I mean, he still does. But him just coming in. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, whoa. Yeah. And then, you know, Playboy Cardi is carried by the beats. So, <laughs> the beat naturally is carrying Playboy Cardi. But he's adding his little ad, ad libs to it. Like, he always does. I said his ad libs. Like, that's his, you know, his actual verses, which sound like ad libs. But yeah, you could just, no, 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 no. Oh, just, yeah, it's just, yeah. All of my bad teens gotta keep them close, they might jump back. We might go spin, spin, some clean at home before we cool out. Uh, I'm trying to fuck some right now. That little hoe, she trying to fuck some right now. I'm, I'm trying to fuck some right now. That little hoe, she trying to fuck some right now. This shit, this shit sounds like if you went to hell, if you and your homies went to hell and Satan himself approached you and said, the only way to get up out this motherfucker is to produce. Give me a fucking beat. Feed me beats. And you motherfuckers went in the studio and this is what came out. 
that get out of hell music. <laughs> this is what that shit is. This shit is hard. I don't care who you're fucking you version of me. That's wow, Kanye. You can't just if they're not a version, they're not a version. You can't just call them a version. So what they're doing? Me, hold my coat, hold my drink, on my own. Come on, me. Sure they wanna fuck us up. Fuck on me, suck on me, publicly. Go back. I gotta hear that again. That was, oh man. On my own. Don't want me. Sure, they wanna fuck us up. Fuck on me. Suck on me. Publicly. Who flame? Y'all, y'all seen that? How they snuck the ooh? That was Travis Scott coming on stage. Ooh, and then you seen how it went from ooh to ooh. All right, we gonna go back real quick. We gonna go back. That was a nice transition. That was hard. I'm going back a little bit more because I want to hear some more. Baby, you on fire. It went from ooh, ooh. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Only suck, I can get you. It's that one plus two is three. Oh. Lock the number in and shit started with three some. Me not the three some. We about to have a mean one. I'm trying to fuck some right now. <laughs> Brown skin, but you know I had a cream on. Janet Jackson, by the way, I had a scream on. She hit the coochie, I said that nigga had me feeling. I'm trying to fuck some right now. That little hump, she's trying to fuck some right now. I'm trying to fuck some right now. That little hump, she's trying to fuck some right now. Shawty wanna fuck? Well, I'm letting her hump on some. Oh, Shawty wanna fuck? Well, I'm letting her hump on some. Shawty wanna fuck? Well, I'm letting her hump on some. Shawty wanna fuck? Well, I'm gonna let her hump on some. That's funny. Shawty wanna fuck? Well, I'm gonna let her hump on some. That man. See simple Playboy Cardi bars, but it's just so easy to just ride along with it. It's that's crazy. Oh man, that was track number ten. And boy, damn, that might be my favorite track. That might just be my favorite track right there. Track number 10 just might be my fucking favorite track. And let me tell you why that's my fucking favorite track. Huh? Mm hmm? Okay, okay. You tell me, I tell you what. Hey, track number 10, fuck something. 10 out of 10. Number 10, 10. 10 out of 10. I'm starring that on Apple Music. I put a star next to that shit. My God. Um, let's see. Track number 11. Uh, I actually just did a music review reaction to the music review reaction i just did a reaction video to the music video to vultures so i'm gonna drop that mm. i should drop it before this but i might drop it after this because i want to get this out because this i'm enjoying this so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna skip from track number 11 titled vultures to track number 12 titled carnival We 
I see where they go with this. How do they keep doing this? Start it off. Oh, and then as the as you get closer to the beat drop. Man, I'm sorry for all the extra noises, but this shit is good music. This shit is great. This the Game of Thrones, Yeezy not the clones. Elon wear my rocket ship, it's time to go home. They served us the part since the day we was born. Anybody pissed off, gotta make a drink the yarn. Now I'm Yay Kelly, bitch. Now I'm Bill Cosby, bitch. Now I'm Puff Daddy Rich. That's me, to me, Rich. Bill Cosby, bitch. I'm Puff Daddy Rich. I don't give a fuck. He's spitting. Huh? He don't give a fuck. He don't, he don't care. He does not care. Fucking Bill Cosby, Rich. Bill Cosby, Rich. I'm Puff Daddy, bitch. Bitch. Where she said she said my dick? And she said she ain't said my dick? She gonna take it up the air like a ventriloquist. I mean, sis, Taylor Swift. Since I had the rolling on the wrist. I'm the new Jesus, bitch. I turn water to Chris. This for what they did to Chris. They can't do shit with this. Got my kids in a fake school. We ain't. Go, 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 go. Hands so good, she on the She a ride a dick like a carnival. I done did the impossible. Go, 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 go. Hands so good, she on the road. She a ride a dick like a carnival. I done did the impossible. She ride a dick like a carnival. Been over having flashbacks. She gon' heat me up like a carnival. It's the way I pop my shit. The hoes not ready. I'm going barnacles. Moving the feel like a Jason. Can't get arrested. I make them stop me. She want a private session. Roll out the X's when I'm on Mero. She tied up my name on her titties. Yeah, you could bust it, but it's a borrow. Huh. See me back counting up doors. I was raising a borrow. She want to taste the chicken and sweat. They hold come back tomorrow. Yeah. And you know what I know how to hold. Just all oh. the best. I'm having them high toes. Whoa. Running around in the lobby. I know that they tired me. Having like 10 hoes. She needs some credentials just to be president. Huh. Huh. I'm out to buy some ditches. Make a whole eat me for dinner. Huh. Huh. Pain all in my eyes. I can't see. I'm about to jump out my body, I'm ready to leave. I'm about to nut on her body and tell her holy. Fit the stuff in the bed, tell the whole gang he. The Jake and body, tell me who fucking with we. I'm hot like the car, I'm feeling that hole in my sleep. Dollar signs all of my dreams, I don't never see Z's. Wow, 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 this way. Cover my body like it's a disease. Wow, wow, wow. Go, go, go. Uzi Gucci Honorable. Ride that back for Honorable. Impossible. Go, Fuck. That was amazing. That was amazing. Track number 12, Carnival. Oh my god, bro. That shit was that shit was hard. Damn. Between track number 12 and track number 10, fuck something. P. 
paperwork. Ah, back to me. <laughs> Shit is fire. We, what are we on? 13, 14, 15, 16. We got four more songs, man. Four more songs. It's going to be hard to top those. It's going to be hard to top those. Carnival was crazy. Carnival was crazy. Ah, shit. Was I like this for a second? Why was I like this? Um. Anyway, next track, Uh, track number 13, titled Beg Forgiveness. You've gone too far. You've gone too far and you should hang your head in shame. For these wounds I cannot stay. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. me up like that in carnival and then just brought me back down low I'm telling you this album's a whole story bro jesus it's crazy you gone too far some of all the parts that you have taken are a fraction of the parts that made me whole but he was strong you should make forgiveness of me. You should make forgiveness. You should make forgiveness. You should make forgiveness. You should make forgiveness, you should make forgiveness of me. By the way, can I can my heart beat? Hope he cradles me and rocks my heart to sleep. All right, this is one you got to, like I said, you got to close your eyes and get in tune with since it definitely just slowed down the pace of the whole album like that. Um, yeah, kind of just calming down, sitting back and listen to, listening to this one. The, the boom, 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 boom. I guess you would call that the bass line. Um, it's kind of just like, like I'm in the middle of this room again, and I'm just hearing that same bass line just bounce off all four corners of the wall, just hitting right back at me. And it just, it kind of makes you, um, isolated to the point where you have to only think about one thing. So this song kind of just narrows your focus in and you're kind of just listening to all the instruments and words that are being, being thrown at you. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah, just keep on listening, y'all. You've gone too far. You've gone too far and you should hang your head in shame. For these wounds I cannot say. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. Some of all the parts that you have taken are a fraction of the parts that made me whole. But he was strong. You should beg forgiveness of me. You should beg forgiveness. You should beg forgiveness. You should beg forgiveness. You should beg forgiveness of me. Fuck it up one time. time, 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 time. I know what you want. I'm reading the signs. Live their life how they want to live their life 
We're still on beg forgiveness. Forgiveness. I, I got a lot to say about this one. I got a lot to say about this one. Um, but right now, before I lose my train of thought, this this transition that just happened, um, whatever vortex he was in or wherever all of that came from, from the first half of that song, it clearly just ended in this transition. And now kind of it's kind of just like Kanye just opened a new door. Now he's out in the an alleyway in the middle of New York. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. It's freaking rain on the floor. It's not raining. The floor is just wet. You got puddles. You can see your reflection in the puddles. And it's probably like, I don't know, kind of feels like the 50s, you know, or that, you know, that time of jazz, 50s, 60s. Uh, yeah, he kind of just like alone on a dark path right now. And he's walking to himself. Uh, yeah, keep going. You wanna make amends before I go Now you wanna put your heart on the line God knows the way you are I will wait, I will wait See man, the track made you forget all about Ty Dolla Sign Listening to this, I forgot all about Ty Dolla Sign They slowed the album down with this track so good to the point where I had to reset my mind and refreshing everything that I was listening to. I basically control alt deleted everything I heard previous to the beg forgiveness and started fresh. And I forgot everything. I forgot who was on this album other than Kanye. I forgot who we've already heard so far. I forgot Ty Dolla Sign was here and he comes back on the track out of nowhere and it's just like damn that's what i was telling you about ty dollar sign is doing so well at holding carrying kanye whatever whatever you want to say however you want to call it he's doing very well on this album that's probably why they collabed starting to make more sense now they just intertwine very well together I will wait, I will track number 13 beg forgiveness <laughs> and another another amazing amazing track amazing track that that's another 10 out of 10 uh we only got three left man i'm just scrambled right now because the music is this is very good but yeah track number 14 titled good um uh, don't die Thoughts 
peace of mind Keep me up all night Got my heart on ice Don't die, don't die On this hopeless night Came a thousand miles To see you smile tonight You'll smile tonight, oh Smile for me tonight. Got my heart on ice. Don't die, don't die. Just one more time. Don't die, don't die. Dark of night, these thoughts of mine keep me up all night. Got my heart on ice. Don't die, don't die. I paused it. I was about to hit a note. I paused it. Let's do it again. That was track number 14 titled Good Don't Die. And my God, I do not want to die at all after listening to that. Man, it's just really crazy um, with the pattern of the album wrapping up right now. I don't know what's to come with these last two tracks. But ever since Carnival, we've got Don't Die and Beg for Forgiveness. And those have really slowed the tone of the album. It's kind of like the outro essentially it is the outro well i can't say it is because there's still there's still two songs left but it's kind of just like wind down time right now and again you're getting immersed in these beats and it's good it's great it's amazing so without further ado we have track number 15 titled problematic I feel like I be the murder, murder Fucking on the beat, you never heard of, heard of That Pope like the leader of the Vatic Can he do it again? Everything I do, they do, guess she set the trend And we in this bitch again, time to get rich again Throw your motherfucking hands They looking like prey, I guess that's why they praying And when you fly in private, it can't be no the land when I speak my mind, it's gonna be some lawsuits and furniture moving. I gotta haul through, like when you be moving, I gotta fly to Japan just to be secluded. They did no damage, what I give them no chances, even if they get a chance. Here's panic like they know Spanish. How I brand all of these clothes, how every ten. You heard the repetition in the beat. <laughs> 
And that's when you know he's starting to mix that shit. He's bound to drop some shit. He's he's sampling some shit. I'ma take all my baldies to Giorgio Baldies, throw my dick a party. Your dress code upscale. Used to shop at all D's. I ran up some numbers, now I got what you all need. Give your homegirl the boric acid, save the summer. New ad. Not the horns, not the horns, baby. It's an orchestra, baby. It's an instrumental. It's drumline, baby. It's a showdown. It's about to be a showdown. It's the pep rally. It's the pep rally. She dropping fast, it's time to come up. Black out. Passing out and then she waking up. Gorgeous. I'm not racist, it's a preference. And my bitch looking like a reference. Don't I make the rules like a referee? Come get on your knees, shawty. I got knees. She alive. It's going up, man. Something's happening. Something's happening. It's here. It's coming. Mouth. I need a sign and seal. A couple brand new deals. Gotta get this shit off my chest. I got some shit to spill. Passing out NDAs. Nigga, deal with it after. I just fucked the world raw. She need a morning after. And then the morning after. It's only one go, let you have your fun, no Run the block like my tumbo, you had it on loan Every day in New Jersey, on my way to New York I was late to every meeting in my Queens tunnel But all the hoes in Hoboken know If I seen you outside with the open toes You might get you a trip to the Poconos You might have to tell your man a Pinocchio That was a jokey joke That wasn't nowhere near as funny when <laughs> Little jokey joke you broke, he broke, crying at high school over a high school bitch, and she's still in the dark taking night school, bitch. Look at how we made it, like we might will, bitch. Wish somebody woulda warned us when I was 15, my soulmate wasn't born yet. African king in a different time. By the way, this song kind of feels like a, uh, oh man, we we kind of finally came through the struggle, we made it. Uh, all those track previous, all the tracks previous to this was a, a fight a brawl and now he's climbing up the pyramid stairs to the end and at the top it's like some type of ben 10 omni tricks and he gets the omni tricks and saves the day um so yeah uh, it's like a heroes arriving type track right now especially with the horns time we got multiple wives too just at different times picture this if every room got a different bitch do that make me a panigamist without the deals i guarantee i'm still nigga rich shit is fucking ridiculous i knew that was coming shit is fucking ridiculous i like that i don't know what the fuck he was talking about by panigamous whatever the fuck i don't know uh, i don't know Right, man track number 15 problematic and that track was very problematic not really um yeah like i said kind of a hero's arrival type song we did it we're at the end mountain we've reached mount olympus type track we've made it to the end track number 16 and if you guys are still here here with me watching remember to like and subscribe leave a comment please please and if you don't want to, you don't have to. But anyway, if you made it this far, you might as well. But yeah, track number 16, titled King. After everything said, huh? Rain, rain. After everything said, huh? Rain, rain. Crazy. Bipolar, anti semite, and I'm still the king. Still the king. Still. They thought headlines was my crit light. Still. Tell them, Kanye, they thought headlines was your kryptonite. You're still the king. 
Uh, we don't care what you say about Ye. We don't care what you say about me. I ain't about to ride like that. But he don't care what you say about him. He's him. That's how he's feeling. I like this track. I, I like how it has the old 90s boom bat. The boom, boom, ah, boom, boom, boom. And then you got the bass line going. Boom, boom. It's a perfect match. Perfect balance. We're going to finish it up. This this is a good way to end it. Just just talking your shit. I'm the king. I don't give a f what you say. I'm, you know, I'm him. I'm the king. I don't give a hey, 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 hey. I like this. I like them going back and forth on that. They're matching energies right now, and it's good. Like I said, oh man. It's just I keep forgetting Ty Dolla Sign is on the album and he always comes back in such an eventful way that I'm just like, yeah, you still here, you still here, man. And that's the album, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the end, man. We've made it to the end. Let me close this. Yeah, so let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm not going to keep this too long, but that album was nothing short of pure fire. A pure musical genius production collaboration. That was very well done on Ty Dolla Signs and, and Kanye. I mean, it was their album, but I just didn't expect Ty Dolla Sign to put out as much like just like energy to the album as a whole i did not expect i was going into it like man because no one really is like oh i want to hear ty dollar sign turn ty dollar sign on you don't want to hear straight ty dollar sign right so when you hear he's on the album you know you're going to get him in every track or at least every other track you're going to get a good amount of ty dollar sign and it's just like can he hold his own and he fuck he exceeded expectations on this man this album would not be it without ty dollar sign i couldn't imagine this without ty dollar sign but jesus christ i'm that's a 10 out of 10 i don't know what else you want me to say let's can i go back i, I close it out but usually i won't really remember too much but Tracks like Beg for Forgiveness and Carnival. Man, those were crazy tracks. There is some heat on this track. Definitely, definitely will be listening to this over and over again. All the way turned up, man. Especially uh, track number two with Freddie Gibbs. I forget what it was called, but Jesus, that shit was pure fire. Uh, 
Man, that was good. But anyway, man, if you guys stuck through the whole thing, I appreciate you. Leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then why are you even here? To be honest, let's just be real. Why are you even here? But anyway, I appreciate you guys. As always, catch me on the next one. I'm out of here.